Hey, what's up? Just want to thank you guys for watching our channel. Please hit that subscribe button. You know, before I was teammates with Chris Paul, um, I didn't particularly care for him. And then I became his teammate and I love him. And he's, he's a brother. And uh, who knows? Maybe if you guys ever cross paths in the future, you become friends. You know, you never know. Who knows? I, I, you, brought up, you brought up Doc. But, you, you know, like me, you ended up playing for a number of coaches. Um, and you were, like you said, an extension of the coach on the floor. There there are coaches or specific teams that were coached by a coach that, like, really stood out in terms of uh, – the the coaching aspect meaning uh so and so was great with ATOs or so and so was great you know with accountability um what were sort of the things and the coaches that really stood out for you in your career well obviously doc you know playing for him almost 9 years um how he allowed me to grow because doc and I obviously beginning we didn't see it at all you know we butt heads a lot uh, him teaching me, you know, how to be professional and how to manage playing with, you know, three Hall of Famers and keeping everybody happy. And at the same time, trying to, you know, find my identity as well. So he helped me bloom a lot. He helped me, he allowed me to run and call out of plays. Uh, I think that's where it helped me and maybe hurt me in, in certain points in my career. Because again, he, he allowed me to manipulate the game. Like I said, he would give me maybe four or five sets to call throughout the game, or like a little sheet. And then during the game, you know, I can call my own thing. I can do my own thing. And like I said, just understanding who had shots and who needed the ball at certain particular times of the game. Was that different for every opponent? Was that different? Like even within a playoff series, game to game, would that be different in terms of the sets that he'd want you to call? Yeah, they'd be different. just like, hey, this is the four or five plays. Just keep these in the back of your mind every game. No, he, it was kind of, we had a lot of sets. <laughs> we had a lot of sets. And they, whoever had it going, like I said, with, with a race shot or if it was, you know, trying to get Paul to a certain spot on the floor. Uh, I had him in the back of my head, like, you know, like no other. And he allowed it. And then every time we went on free throw line, him and I would make contact. A lot of times I was calling plays, the same plays he was thinking that we was going to call. So uh, we had a good chemistry. Obviously, it took time to get there. But after the championship year, my second year, it kind of evolved pretty quickly. And he allowed me to continue to grow as a player. Um, another guy, uh, I played for a lot of great coaches. You know, I could try to take something from every one of my coaches I played for. And I think that's another reason why I'm fortunate. Yeah, you know, to be like to have such a high IQ because I never thought that I knew it all. Um, I put the work in and time I felt as some coaches did as well, as far as me watching games, maybe two and a half hours after every game throughout my career, breaking down the game, trying to figure out, you know, obviously how to make myself better and also my teammates. But um, even, you know, people may say, oh, you and Rick, I'm like, Rick, me and Rick fell out as well, but Rick was a hell of an ATO. His ATOs were, were one unmatched. And I love the way, you know, he would do non-traditional things you know he might put me on a guy to six eight you know and he, he kind of was like the first coach to kind of do those things or he would throw a two three zone in early and then he would switch it up go to man like so he his things were weren't really um you know traditional and how he coached and approached the game it was a little bit a little bit different which i liked uh t lou was a great guy he had the locker room uh at his command um a lot of respect obviously in his career but how he his preparation was on point you know, his preparation, his walkthroughs, and attention to detail, um, him going over ATOs all the time. Like, so when you get in the game, it was it was pretty easy. And he's a obviously a student from Doc as well. Like, he came from the Doc era. So uh, played for a lot of great coaches. My guy and um, George Carl, he allowed me to run everything as well. When I played with Cuz in Sacramento, uh, people thought I would hate it out there. But I'm like, being able to call every offensive set all year long, and a guy like DeMarcus Cousins, Rudy Gay, uh, Omar Caspi. Uh, it was a great run. We didn't make the playoffs, but it was a fun season for me. Yeah, I mean, you, you led the league in assists that year. Um, where are you right now in terms of your, your coaching aspirations long term? Um, eventually, I want to do it. I love teaching the game. Uh, you know, it's like playing chess for me. Um, I no longer have the ability to affect the game physically, but mentally, um, that's why I feel like I would always be able to be a great in that aspect. And, and like anything else, you know, you have to have a great staff around you. Uh, I want to continue to learn from a lot of coaches as well. Uh, and you develop a lot of great relationships. So you never know who I could be coached with one day.